Yo, 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 what up though? How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing good. Uh, welcome back to the shop. Uh, last week when I left you, we were working on customizing a WWE World Championship, the Toys R Us version, so the cheapest one you can get. Um, and uh, we're having fun with it. So all we're really doing, as you can see, I got laid out, was uh, getting these things uh, set up to take these plates. So we did that. Um, I showed you we did one here and I got the other one set and I just snapped them all together I'm holding them together with these clothespins just because like everything's all lined up so when I get ready to mount these to the uh, see I got the holes all lined up in the back and uh, so when it's time to uh, mount these you know let me get you a nice good close-up you can see we uh, made sure we drilled the holes right there for the uh, for the um, side plates, so now we've got to put those holes and stuff and make modif modifications to the strap so that we can change these out at will. So um, and we got to get some hardware. So we're going to get all the hardware and stuff together um, as well. But uh, for now, I just wanted to kind of show you what we did here, and it's all pinched together so it's ready to rock. So this plate will come right out of here, but for now it's there, it's ready and uh, we're going to use these to uh, to make our marks okay so in other words we're going to take the paint pen and we're going to utilize everything we can to make the marks that we need so um, what I did is I already did some of that ahead of time so let me get these out of the way and I'll show you what we did here let's get the strap in here and so Here's the strap. I did a bunch of different things, and I'll tell you what I did here in a minute as I get it laid out for you. Okay. First things first, um, what you'll notice is the center here is in rough shape. Um, there was a little piece that went over there that was, typically there's a backing piece of leather here that's tooled. On this cheap one, it's just a little piece of vinyl that's kind of faux tooled and it's just kind of sitting on here it's glued in the center a little bit um, but it was barely like it just sucked it was horrible and I hinted to you guys earlier that I wanted to do more to this belt than just do the side plate since I had everything took taken apart so um, I'm we're gonna put a new leather piece here so I prepped that I got rid of that other thing there so that we were flat down on here and we didn't have anything in between that would mess up our uh, uh, you know not that there's going to be any adhesion or anything, but I just didn't want to make it any fatter than it needs to be because I'm already going to put some leather in there that'll be a decent thickness. So that's already going to affect it a little bit. I just wanted to minimize the effect there. So got rid of that. Um, also, I um, was able to take the... Uh, when you take this plate here, I was able to take and use the... Uh, the paint pen and put it around the, the posts on the, the the side plates here on this thing right yeah, just on the and then then I physically put this whole thing through the holes and marked it oh no I didn't even do that now that I think about it I just put this in here without the side plate and then it exposed the holes and I was able to mark the holes that way with the paint pen and then I went in and drilled those holes out because punching them through just was a pain in the ass. So um, I ended up drilling them out and setting them in. So we're all set. So we got our holes marked here so that we can accommodate um, our, uh, our plates and our screws. Um, so that's what we got here. Also, while I was at it, I was trying to get the tip off because uh, we're gonna paint this strap too. I'm, oh, this is um, boring, boring. And I'm not going to put new leather on it because they're plastic plates and all that. But I figured um, the strap is still like mint as far as these go. And I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. So I had the side plates already. Um, so that's not a thing. And then of course um, we have uh, I, all most of the supplies I had here. So I am not spending a lot of money. Now, if you were going to do this, you might have to spend a couple of bucks 
to get dyes and whatever, but I happen to have all this stuff here. So for me, this is just time. It's not really materials because this is stuff I'd have laying around anyway. So, um, but I couldn't get the tip off. It, this thing just would not come off. Uh, and I don't want to break it. So I, I did a super duper tape job, hopefully, and did all that. Now, um, the snaps themselves, I'm not going to worry about because I'm going to leave the snap boxes black to give it a little flare. So, and the way this is stitched on there, that second layer of snap box, I should be able to get right up to that line with these brushes um, and this cool acrylics that we're going to use to, to do this. So, this one will be, um, this one will be fun. This one will be super fun. So, we'll, we'll make this a little different. We're going to, we're going we're gonna to have some fun with this. So, um, so the strap is pretty much ready to go other than the, the dyeing. So we're going to put this to the side and we're going to worry about this center piece because um, we want to have that backdrop behind the, the center plate looking super nice and I want to do something more fun than the typical regular. So we're going to do that today. So let me show you that. Once again, just got a few things rolling so we had it already so you understand. I went and I dug into my stuff. And oh, I must have put it away. But I dug in and I found a bunch of my spare leather chunks that I had, you know, laying around. And I happen to have a big enough piece that for this center part. So what I did is I took this fresh leather like this. There's just a big old chunk, and uh, I cut it down already. I set the center plate down. I traced the outline of it, and I cut it down to that shape with some straight edges. Um, then I went in and I set it down and I went and I shortened it up and made sure it was inside so it was smaller so I just take a I think I, I think I took like uh, an eighth of an inch off all the way around and then that got me inside the plate and then once I did that it was a matter of marking the holes so this is the piece here and I already kind of got into doing some other stuff because I get carried away um, but I wanted to be prepped and ready when we came here, so I want to explain what everything that happened here. So what we did is, uh, after I uh, after we uh, I cut this out and got it framed in small enough to fit inside, I, I I matched it up with the with the plate to make sure it fit in there good where I want it and everything. And then with a slightly dampened leather, I took the plate and pressed down all the hole, all the posts, so that we had everything marked really well. Then I went through and punched them out. And then now this thing has been slid on over and looks and fits back there, everything's good. So we knew that was sweet. So I decided I didn't want to do the traditional tooling. The traditional tooling that was in there is this little waffle headed uh, teardrop fucking thing and they just kind of bang 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 all over it and so to me once again super super boring so on this one we did a little something different and you can see what I did to the leather here hopefully so we got that texture that we're looking for with the backdrop but if you can't tell what that is those are all music notes so as a musician I was like, that'll be fun. So I put music notes as the texture instead. And so in the spirit of keeping things fun, I was uh, I started paint dying. Now we could do the universal title, right? It was red. The universal, now it's blue. You've had the black. So I could go a totally different color. Um, I was considering going green, but uh, I decided because I'm going to work with what I have here, um, my green is kind of allocated what I have to something else. And so I had some leftover red and I had some leftover blue and we're going to have some fun with this red, blue and black scheme. Uh, with this belt. So that's how we're going to rock this thing. So um, after I got all this thing tooled, uh, you know, with the, the moistened leather, I, I, I sat here for probably an hour or so and, uh, and pounded all the, uh, 
these music notes in into this leather and you know we just take a little bit of this tape masked it off to get us a nice straight line it leaked a little bit uh, I'm not super super freaked out about it um, because I'm probably gonna have to touch this up again anyway and so but I just wanted to make sure I get a really close accurate line so I'm gonna split this sucker in half because I think it's fun I don't know why I think it's fun but it's fun to me so we're gonna do half and half on this sucker it's gonna be like Two-Face from Batman and uh, this one's getting dry so I wanted to be able to kind of keep moving that's why I did some stuff here ahead so we get a little bit closer to what we're looking for so there so I split that there and then I've got um, these wonderful little dies you can see I, was, I used fire red here for the uh, the one half that we got done already now like in all likelihood I'll probably peel this up and it's gonna pull some of that dye up so I'm gonna have to go back over it but the key is to at least get that main line right there looking pretty good and I if I can get up to it and touch it it'll be all right um, we're gonna have most of the plates gonna cover most of it anyway so I'm hoping that you know we you don't see any little imperfections that we may or may not end up with here uh, who knows it could come out great and we don't have an issue um, so there's the uh, red I use there fire red and then we're gonna go with a light blue it's gonna be more like um, like uh, this tape almost and we'll instead of you know and we'll give it that look too so I'm gonna split it so what I so what I did little painters tape hopefully uh, like I said we don't take too much of that back up I hope I let it dry enough but you know as we're doing this project we're trying to move keep it moving so I hope everybody's doing what they can to stay safe thanks for checking out uh, the BCU podcast and coming into the shop here for our little uh, do-it-yourself or little uh, things we got a bunch of stuff coming down the pipe um, soon so I'll uh, I'll get to that in a little bit or in coming up uh, in subsequent episodes here so yeah so now I'm just gonna take this blue and uh, you know I could go with a bigger brush scenario I could go with a sponge I guess if you wanted to I could go with a dauber I could do all that but I think I'm getting more spread with this brush I'm getting into these tighter little spots and uh, easier and it takes a, a you know a little bit longer than whipping over it but then I don't come up with spots that didn't get covered seem to get in all these little nooks and crannies better so I'll take the extra time and make sure I get it and then if I you know if I had a big area I would be airbrushing it anyway so So once that dries, we're in good shape. So there's our half and half. So we put that plate on. We'll put this behind it. Let me get this strap in here. So with that behind it, it would look cool if I line these holes up. Use the strap to make all the holes. That's okay, I had it all figured out. So there. So yeah. That would look a lot better just like that. But I'm not done. We've we, we need more than just that. I I don't think it just quite solves it. So um we're going to uh 
do the same thing with the strap only I'm gonna do it the opposite way so it's opposite day this is gonna sit here like that so I want to make sure that when I tape this off I get this properly taped so we'll say that goes right there oh maybe not totally right there let's go right out the side of this other hole so I'm going to go like that I'm not going to stick it totally and we'll put this back over the holes line it back up make sure I get uh, this end adjusted properly right there there we go so now we have perfect opposite so this side I'm going to do red and this side I'm going to do blue so it's got that opposite effect to it so that's how I'm going to do this and then I'm going to leave the snap boxes black so there we go so now we're all set up for that we're set up for that once we get this thing dyed we can go ahead and start snapping the plates together and getting this thing looking sweet I think I'm going to take because the swoosh is red and get lost in the red side uh, we're going to take that swoosh and we're going to make it black so it coordinates with the snap boxes and uh, and we're going to put this sucker back together so I got this thing taped off I'm going to do just like we did tape this side we're going to paint this side first blue and then we're going to get onto that side next I'm going to upgrade to a dauber because I got much more a lot more area to cover so a dauber looks like a big old cotton ball with a, with a handle on it I don't think I got a blue one so I have to bust out a blue, make a new one for this blue try to reuse them as much as I can so I'm not buying them by the bulk go through them quick if you do it that way so it's like this so we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna dip it in there and we're gonna do the circular motion and we're gonna just circular 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 all the way around here I'm gonna get it real clean I'm gonna get it cleaned up a little bit wipe it down so there's nothing extra on here it's gonna impede on what we're doing in here it's not as crucial because it'll be covered by this so if you've got some imperfections behind this it's not that crucial so don't freak out it's in here you want to be real good with anything that's not covered by plates you want to be extra good with so once we do this and seal this all get this all the way around we're going to take and the same thing with here this is almost dry so I can show you that before we go so what you want to do is yeah that's almost dry we're going to let that red dry up just a little bit more so um, what you do is you need to protect this um, it evens the coat a little bit gives it an acrylic protectant and, uh, and it keeps it from like coming off on your hands over time um, so what we're going to use is um, Resoline Resoline so we're going to take a sponge and it's going to be just damp enough that it's soft okay I might add a little water to this one and soak it through but make sure you wring it out real good you know since so you just want it to be now this has got this one has got resoline in it so you can see it look at it it's soapy um, but resoline is actually it goes on kind of milky white but it dries clear and it's you, it, you have you want to put it on you don't skip this step so same thing circular you kind of see it when you're looking at it, it probably doesn't pick up on the camera but it gives it a little looks a little wet as you're looking at it this sponge has got plenty in it for this little piece so I don't have to add any to it but when we do the belt itself we might have to add a little to it
let that dry and this thing will be fully protected and ready to roll so um, it's got all our holes in it it's ready to rock for what we need it for and uh, so this can get put away we'll let that thing dry and uh, we'll be good to go now it's on to painting so now the dauber makes more sense <laughs> and then uh, and we'll do that so that's what we're going to do next we're going to uh, paint this blue follow the same processes on both sides uh, with everything we did here and then we can start putting this thing together so when you get up out of here thank you for coming to the shop and hang out next week we will uh, we'll have this thing all we'll get this thing all painted up looking good we'll get the plates and everything on and I got one more trick up my sleeve uh, for this project that I'm going to show you that should be super fun make it super make this thing super fun like I said uh, just having a blast with this thing and just being playful and and goofy so we're gonna do that next week we'll finish this thing up and I'll show you what I got hiding in my bag of tricks so once again thanks for uh, checking out the BCU podcast uh, here on Studio 57 Radio. Thanks for coming to the shop. Uh, make sure you go to the J-Dub Belts page and check out projects like this and other stuff we got going there as well as our uh, website, jdubbelts.com. That's three B's in the middle. Um, and uh, stay tuned for the YouTube channel for the J-Dubs coming soon. In the meantime, enjoy everything we got on the Studio 57 Radio platform. Uh, thanks for coming to the shop. See you next week.